The combatant commander provides the mission, designates forces, delegates command authorities and relationships, and assigns the JTF with a Joint Operations Area, or JOA. The JTF commander can organize the JTF with service components, functional components, or a combination of both based on the nature of the mission and the operational environment. The JTF commander normally establishes functional component commands to control military operations, but a joint force always contains service components to provide administrative and logistic support. The JTF commander exercises operational control, or OPCON, over all assigned and attached forces. OPCON includes authoritative direction over all aspects of military operations and joint training necessary to accomplish missions assigned to the command. The authority for these latter aspects, known as Administrative Control, or ADCON, is typically provided by the respective service components and, for Army forces assigned to a joint task force, is exercised through the R4. The R4 is the Army component and senior Army headquarters of all Army forces assigned or attached to a combatant command, subordinate joint force command, joint functional command, or multinational command. Since the preferred approach to establishing a JTF headquarters is to use an existing service headquarters, the JTF commander, if an Army headquarters, retains all responsibilities associated with both headquarters, the R4 and JTF. However, this can overload the JTF headquarters, and generally, an Army headquarters that transitions to a JTF headquarters designates a subordinate Army commander as the Deputy R4 Commander for performing those duties. The designated commander and staff then work through the Theater Army Commander to provide administrative and logistics support to all Army forces in the JOA and to coordinate Army support to other services as required by the JTF Establishing Authority. The JFLIC normally exercises OPCON of same service forces. However, they will typically be delegated tactical control, or TACON, of other services forces. TACON is a command authority over assigned or attached forces that is limited to the detailed direction and control of movements or maneuvers within the operational area necessary to accomplish missions or tasks assigned by the commander. Like the JFLIC, a Joint Force Maritime Component Command, or JIFMIC, charged with planning an amphibious assault designates command relationships that promote cooperation and maintain a clear unity of command. To facilitate unity of command, forces conducting an amphibious operation are typically organized into an amphibious task force and a landing force under a common commander. The landing force may consist of U.S. Army or Marine Corps forces organized into embarkation groups, units, elements, and teams while the amphibious task force consists of Navy vessels and sailors organized into corresponding groups, units, elements, and ships. A successful amphibious assault requires coordination across each echelon. To promote cooperation, the Joint Force Commander will designate command support relationships by phase between the amphibious task force and the landing force. This relationship is appropriate when one organization should aid, protect, complement, or sustain another force. The designation of the supported and supporting role is important as it conveys priorities to the commanders and staffs who are planning or executing the operation.